Oh, welcome back to the game. Let's go and do this thing. Let's go right. I'm simply wondering how your kind can call yourselves nobles. It seems ironic. We like irony. And it rolls off the tongue better than it presses. Ah, so you're a funny human. Not I. I wouldn't. The shimmer of the people turned from the gods who had ever sheltered him. In his grief, he destroyed the gifts of the mountain father and brought us low. And Rudam pursued her. She she fell to the earth and prayed to Koth to preserve her. He sent deliverance. They called themselves the dwarves and they protected her. Yeah, lighten your mood, milady. Ah. A key haunt from Brock. Druid manifest. As you wish. Small offering of treasure lies here. Add the golden idol. Quest complete. Uh, to do list. Frenzy. Not better than the current weapon I have. But Frenzy could be used by our other friend. I'll take care of it. Okay, we're getting some keys. Emissary. That's good. Go to the rocks. Let's get started. We go to our Elven friend, go over to here. Just building up the friendships because they have benefit. We'll go. Well, we have to go this way. Clark, warrior statue, ancient vows, what are these ancient vows? This inscription of the stone, and so you are defeated by our foreign dwarf, bound by blood, few people, 
May they hold you here forever. Why is that one lit up? Hmm. Interesting. Circle the Forsaken. Okay. Oh, we should level him up. Uh, oh. Guardian? Whereas the Allied survival is the most important, it's, you know, it's guardians prefer to protect their party members directly, but if necessary, they are prepared to make them. Okay. You can be a guardian. More than <laughs> sure. Guardian. Personal. Activated. Guardian. Directed. Builds a shield around. Yep. Okay. We save two. It's a key moment, I think. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um. Easy enough. Got everything, right? Yeah, we don't want that. Okay. Uh, we do this. Because we want Legionnaire Scout. 
Um, Dex can have one, and then we can do two in... We'll, we'll increase your constitution a little, because so you're getting a little bit too banged up. Uh, then we save. And then we go this way. Key the lady. Getting a lot of keys. Lag. Hmm. Come on. And there's the crash. Okay, we'll load it up. I need to get this episode. If I get this episode done, then I'm covered. I can not worry about this for a while. I can do some updates on my computer and so on. Because there's a Windows update. I should do my driver's updates for my graphics card. Okay, resume. Let's see. Let's see if this will work. Oh, it's saved right at this point. Key to the crypt, firebox. Right. Ancestors favor us indeed. This is a dwarven barrier door. Before old Calharol fell, she nearly had it complete. Only the mechanism needs work. If they'd only had a bit more time to finish, Orzammar wouldn't be all alone. Won't take me long to fix up the mechanism. Poor sods were nearly done. Okay. This is proper dwarven engineering. You stand back now. Should buy us a few years. A decade if we're lucky. That'll give us time to devise a more permanent solution. Of course. 
I want to activate the mechanism and go through. I want to see what's on the other side. You ready? Oh, let's us let us go back. Okay. Oh my god. Oh well, there was nothing there to loot more, so. Oh, you're back to visit old Dworkin. Wonderful. We can start making more explosives. Thanks for your help. Please, take these. Use them to give those beasties a what for. <laughs> Safe. <laughs> um. Oh, I leveled. I do not want to be... Do I want to be Guardian? I want to be Reaver and something else. I don't know yet. I'm undecided. We'll just do that. You're maxed. We we'll may as well just do that. Maybe? That means nothing for us. We don't want any of those. All those. We don't want those. So maybe it is time for... How do I get... We'll go Berserker. Seneschal Veril has been looking for you. Please go to the throne room. Just give me a moment. <sighs> Into the castle. You get them? Uh, this is a Grey Warden thing, huh? Why didn't anyone tell me? Yeah, this particular dream put me right off my breakfast. In my dream, I saw one of those bloated, vomit-smeared broodmothers, and it had Hespeth's face. You remember Hespeth, don't you? Bronco was there and whispered, it's time. And Hespis screamed and a thousand darkspawn burst from her. You're telling me. Then the darkspawn surrounded me and started talking, asking me if I would like lemon in my tea. And could I please teach them to read and write? And, and one of them kept repeating, where's the baby? And, and that's when I woke up. Huh. Well, I do get other dreams about Darkspawn, mostly shadows and murmuring, but nowhere is scary. Thanks for listening, Commander. <laughs> oh. You know, I'm actually not the first How to be a Grey Warden. Following in my grandfather's footsteps, more like. His name was Padrick How. He joined the Order before it returned to Ferelden, just after the war. Never contacted his family again. Just vanished. Now that I know about the joining... I think he died. I know that now. Father always said he was a horrible man for abandoning the family to join a pointless cause. I grew up ashamed of my grandfather. But now I see his bravery. That will take some getting used to. My father often forgot that nobility has another meaning. You know my grandfather had a bow passed down from his grandfather. I wonder if it's still around. At any rate, we should probably get back to it. There are darkspawn to kill, I'll bet. Somewhere. Gotta find that bow. Sanders one. So what would you do if you didn't have to be a Grey Warden?
Is it? You've never thought about it? Does nobody ever leave the Wardens? You can run, but you can't hide? I think I've heard that before. I've never liked the idea of being trapped somewhere, to be honest. It reminds me of the Circle. After my seventh escape attempt, you'd think they'd have given me credit for trying. I got really good at escaping <laughs> the tower. Just never good at staying escaped. Until now, I suppose. You know, there is one thing I miss about the tower. <laughs> my cat. Mr. Wiggums, he wasn't my cat, he was the tower's mouser. But he took a liking to me. There were days when that stupid cat was the only person I saw. Except for it not being a person. Still, I liked him. Poor Mr. Wiggums. He became possessed by a rage demon. But he did take out three Templars. Oh, I was never more proud. A toast to Mr. Wiggums, then. <laughs> May he forever eat mice in the fade. Oh, my God. Uh, there you are. Guess who gets the kitten? Oh, look at the cute little kitty. He looks like Mr. Wiggums. Oh, but I don't know if I should keep him. We got into some dangerous scraps. I suppose. Well, I'll keep him just for a while, until I find somewhere safer. Is that okay with you, Kitty? I'll call you Sir Pounce a lot. You can stay in my pack, just for a little while, yeah? <laughs> what item did I receive? Okay. Velena. I envy you sometimes. Your children will have heard of at least a half a dozen of your paragons before the age of three. These tales are taken for granted. They are so abundant. Oh, it makes me angry sometimes. We Dalish have lost most of our history and our legends. What we do remember, we hold dear. But does a human child value the tale of the Paragon Idukan as much as he does Dane and the werewolf? Stories connect us to our past. They shape a people in profound ways. Without them, we are lost. I just wish I could do something to restore this lost part of our soul. Now you're just being ridiculous. <laughs> Let's get on with the day. Oh, nice. All right. All rise. The Warden Commander and Liege Lord of all Amaranthine enters. I've held it off as long as I could, but you hold the right of high justice on your land. Certain matters of court must be decided. By custom, the claimants make their case to you. I'll advise you after, then you rule. The Seneschal of the Vigil can hold court as well, if the Isle commands it. Be seated. The Warden Commander will first hear the matter of the Crown against the Sheepherder Alec. On behalf of the Crown, I submit that Alec stole two bushels of grain bound for the garrison in Amaranthine. When confronted by soldiers, he confessed. The punishment for theft from the Crown is death by hanging. What say you, Alec? My sheep were slaughtered by the darkspawn. My fam my family was starving. I asked for mercy. Commander, mercy. The poor bugger. Had he stolen from anyone besides the crown, he'd escape with a flogging. Thank you. Thank you. The next matter is of a civil nature. Mm -hmm. Lady Liza Pacton is the sovereign of Tern's Down. She... I prefer to speak for myself. The old Earl Rendenhall made certain promises to me. Some of these he committed to paper. I was given the right to the incomes of the Southern Bridge. 
And what part did you take in Howe's conspiracies, Eliza? To get such a fruitful prize. I am Sir Darren, and it is my land she seeks. Taken from me because I was one of the few nobles who stood against Tone Logan. Commander, Sir Darren is an ally, and Amaranthine has precious few who support you wholeheartedly. If there's any hope of persuading more nobles to your cause, you must be fair-minded. My father built that bridge, but very well. I place my trust in you. The commander has spoken. The matter is resolved. Bring in Sir Temele the Arch. Sir Temele stands accused of a murder most foul. You and your men came upon Sir Tamra in the dead of night and did cravenly ambush her. You dare too much, Captain Garavel. I am noble-born and will not submit to your accusation. You are accused of murder, sir. My soldiers found you fleeing while Sir Tamra's blood was still hot. There's a great deal of traffic on the roads, not all of it human. And it's so dangerous at night. We were merely in a hurry to reach a nice, safe place. You mock this court with your denials. You have nothing, Captain. Release me, Commander. It's this common lout's word against mine. You will recall Sir Tamra as the knight who warned us against the conspiracy. Sir Temele was a confederate of Al Hal. I fear you're correct. Only some blood on their clothes. A sadly common sight on travelers these days. Besides that, nothing. The captain looked into the matter thoroughly. There'd be some outrage. There's no love for the Ox, but he's a noble. With such scant evidence. <sighs> but you are within your rights to execute him. If he's innocent, I'm the Empress of Orle. But it's possible, I suppose. What is your will? Hmm. Hmm. But you can't. Oh, but the commander very much can. This session of the Arling's court is over. Let's get rid of it. Help me. I hope the next one is easier than this. Kill the people who. Yeah. Commander. Better than Sir Myrin. I'll make the preparations. From this moment forth, Velana, you are a Grey Warden. And let it be that. She yet draws breath, Commander. She will recover. I just mentioned after all this work she dies. <laughs> Alright. Go to my personalized stash. Ooh, actually. Ogren. Frenzy is better. This should be easy enough. So I want to store. The summer sword, these three. Yes. Velina, weapons. Call of the Inferno, she is a fire mage. 6.4, 6.8, rapid aim, cold assist, fire powers, fire damage. That's actually good. Yeah, okay. Um. May I be of service? Of course. Mm. Okay. Um. 
this is where I'll end this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, hit the subscribe button below. The notification bell to keep up to date. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.